Well, we're almost two years into the pandemic, and of course, there's still a lot left to learn about COVID. And even though Omicron is typically milder than other strains, like any virus, it can still be dangerous even after symptoms fade away. That's exactly what happened to a Rochester woman. After recovering from a mild case of Omicron, she suffered a near fatal medical emergency. And now she has a warning for others about the dangers of COVID and stroke. In January, Rochester mother of three, Carolyn Jones, caught COVID. She says her symptoms were mild. Just fatigue, and I did have a very sore throat, an earache. No cough, fever, or chills. Just over a week later, the symptoms were gone, and the stay-at-home mom was up cleaning and doing dishes. When her husband went to check on her, it was clear something was very wrong. I wasn't able to talk. I wasn't able to really even move on my own. Carolyn's husband called 911. She says she remembers being rushed to the hospital and remembers the crowds of doctors and nurses. A CT scan discovered a clot in her brain. Carolyn was having a stroke. This would have been consistent with a near fatal stroke. Dr. John Wapham is director of neurointerventional surgery at Ascension Providence, Rochester. He says there's growing literature supporting the idea that COVID can cause blood to thicken, increasing the risk of stroke. Getting the COVID infection, people are at increased risk to clot off a vessel, either in the heart or in the lungs or in the brain. Even for a time after the COVID symptoms are gone and women seem to be at greater risk of these clots, even young, healthy women like Carolyn. Hormonal changes, including pregnancy, birth control, hormone replacement, or even a history of migraines increase the risk of stroke in women. Carolyn's clot affected the left side of her brain, responsible for expressive and receptive speech. A clot there can have devastating, lifelong consequences. Dr. Wampum says the areas in green are parts of Carolyn's brain starving for oxygen and blood. Carolyn was rushed into emergency surgery. We bypass the heart, of course, go up into the large vessels of the head and neck, and then gain access, in this lady's case, on the left side of the head with a retriever or a device like this. That surgery was a success. Carolyn survived a major stroke that doctors say often leaves people unable to speak and paralyzed on the right side of their body. She's grateful to the doctors and nurses who provided care and for the support of family and friends after this unexpected setback following COVID recovery. It was a miracle. I also really want people to know that, that the blood clots are an issue with COVID. And Carolyn says she's heard about blood clots with COVID, but was thinking of the arms, legs, or even the lungs, just not the brain. And doctors say the reason Carolyn had such an amazing outcome was early identification. Her husband saw the symptoms of a stroke and called 911 right away, starting the process of treating that clot. So it's important to know the signs of a stroke. Remember, be fast. Balance problems, eyesight issues, facial drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, and that all means it's time to call 911 because every second counts when you have a stroke. Yeah, you need to respond so quickly and tell the people at 911 that you think it's a stroke. Absolutely. So important. Without a Great doubt. Story and, and good reminders. And thank you, Carolyn, for sharing your story.